it seems clear that no single actor can, in isolation, push for the kinds of changes that the world really needs. This is a recognition that systems change happens as the result of the efforts of many different kinds of actors that are in motion and that contribute in very different ways to drive change. Uh, there's no hero-like entrepreneur who will alone tackle the most challenging issues that we face, like climate change, poverty or inequality. We need the skills and the efforts of a lot of change makers that work in governments, in companies, in the third sector and in social movements. Uh, and this is one of the reasons why everyone now says that we need collaboration. And we do, we need collaboration. We need different kinds of actors engaged with the changes that the world really needs. The problem though, is that many players in the social impact space share the very naive assumption that systems change starts from neutral grounds where everything is possible if people engage. And this is not really true. And they don't really make explicit the terms of these collaborations and they assume that more collaboration in every circumstance is desirable. Then collaboration becomes a very generic recommendation if we don't really know what we can expect from each of these actors. Uh, this is the reason why we have to understand that different kinds of organizations are charted by different rules, by different infrastructures, and that they have different capabilities that shape what they can or they can't do. Think, for example, of how companies, very differently from governments, cannot tax people, or how governments, very differently from social movements, don't typically organize sit-ins to change social behavior. So, how can we actively pursue systems change if the solutions we need require a bundle of fragmented, partial, distributed efforts of different actors who have different capabilities and whose actions are charted by different rules and infrastructures. That's the challenge that our research faces. We start from the recognition that if we want to drive systems change and if systems change requires the collaboration of a constellation of different organizations, we have to be very attentive to the repertoire of actions of each kind of organization in order to best align their efforts, their resources, and to challenge the un undesirable characteristics of the incumbent systems.